Central Bank Currency Intervention. A presentation from Joe and Phoebe Money Show. Hi Joe, how are you? I am tired. I am hungry. I am sleepy. I have been working 80 hours a week. Wow, I was not expecting an answer like that. Anyway, you look fine. Question for you. Even though the U.S. does not have a fixed exchange rate policy, it would intervene in the market if the U.S. dollar were to be extremely strong, right? Yes. As in the 1985 Plaza Accord in which the U.S. worked with France, West Germany, Japan, the United Kingdom, to depreciate the U.S. dollar against the major currencies. This was because the extremely strong dollar was hurting U.S. exports. Why did the other countries agree to go along with this idea? The likely consequence to not signing this agreement could be the U.S. placing tariffs or trade restrictions on these countries. And the lunch at the plaza was great. The U.S. could have weakened the dollar without the help of the major countries by selling a lot of dollars in the market, right? After all, it has unlimited supply of U.S. dollars. Correct Amundo. The same goes for any country if they wish to weaken their own currency to prevent it from being too strong. Yes, in theory but in practice? As Albert Einstein once said, in theory, theory and practice are the same. In practice, they are not. In practice, if a country, say, India were to prevent the rupee from being too strong, the Reserve Bank of India would have to sell rupee in the market. Doing so, will increase the rupee money supply. And the larger money supply could lead to an inflationary problem. In trying to help the Indian exporters, the Reserve Bank of India could end up with a broader problem for the entire economy. Correct Amundo. And why would a country intervene if its currency is very weak? That would be good for their exporters, right? That may be so but let's say the Mexican peso is very weak. This means that for the same amount of goods it imports and invoices in the same amount of US dollars, it will have to pay more pesos. In local currency terms, it costs more to import oil from the Middle East, manufactured goods from China etc. And if the importers were to pass the cost increase to the consumers, this would be imported inflation. To prevent a high level of imported inflation through a serious depreciation of the peso, Banco de Mexico would have to buy peso and sell U.S. dollars in the market. When they mop up the pesos from the market, the peso money supply will shrink and interest rates are likely to go up. Higher interest rates will slow down the economy. Slowing down the economy could dampen inflation but could also lead to a recession. To summarize, a country can face economic problems when its currency is extremely strong or extremely weak. Going back to the weak Mexican peso, when Banco de Mexico intervened to buy peso and sell U.S. dollars. Surely, there is a limit to how much U.S. dollar reserve the country has and when that falls to a very low level. They would have to give up and let the peso falls. Yes and no. This is true for most countries but there are some exceptions. Some countries like South Korea, Mexico, Singapore, and Brazil have swap lines with the Federal Reserve in which these countries can borrow U.S. dollars from the Fed. Nice. This all makes sense now. Suddenly I feel hungry for some tacos. Hey Joe, congratulations on your promotion. I just saw the CEO's email. I am very happy for you. Thank you very much, Phoebe. I am just lucky to have a great boss. Having your boss as a mentor is huge. A culture where everyone works very hard and very supportive colleagues like you. You and I know that working hard is not enough. Yes, you work hard but you are always thinking ahead, humble, and everybody likes you. You are not afraid to ask questions, to learn from others, and you go out of your way to be helpful and people like it when you are always giving your most honest opinion. I still remember our fight over bubble or no bubble and you got me thinking about what could go wrong with my investment. Oh, I will also need to see that video again on YouTube. Thank you for the kind words.
and thank you for teaching me about stock valuation with the P.E. multiple and factors affecting currency movements. Phoebe. Yes? Are you free for dinner this Friday? This has been a presentation from the Joe and Phoebe Money Show. We greatly appreciate all the subscriptions and thumbs up. We are touched by all your kind support. This marks the end of Season 1. Stay tuned and we will be back after this short break. Stay Stay safe safe and be and be happy.